looking at this real-time rendering of a ray traced scene, so we see that we can move the, the mouse in real time and do all that thing, but we can also edit the document itself. So here, for instance, I can accelerate time here simply by saying this is running four times faster um, or backwards. Um, and I can do more complicated things, like here we have the mouse, for instance, and um, I could decide to uh, change this movement uh, here to have something that depends on time. So something like this. So now I'm just adjusting the amplitude, but this is now moving by itself. So I'm really free to change that code the way I want. Let me revert that to what I had before. I can also ch change the shader in real time. So this is what the shader looks like. And I can, for instance, change the ray, ray tracing depth. So we see the number of reflections here, but the reflections go away if um, I make this smaller. So you see that now this cube looks bland. And with two reflections, we get this first level. And I can go farther like we had before. Um, and I can also, for example, uh, activate the second light here. So I just enabled this, and now we get the second light casting different shadows with different angles. Um, so it's illuminated from behind. I added this, um, and I can completely change these parameters. Like, what happens if I do this? Or backwards like this. <coughs> so you see that you can basically uh, adjust all the parameters in real time. And let's do one last one in cubes. And what we are doing to, to, going to do here is uh, we are going to change this cube compute function to create smaller cubes. Um, and so the H side here, we're going to make it much smaller like this. Or even smaller. And uh, like this. So now we just have these tiny dots. Let me rewrap that like this. This is the base side. And so feel free to tweak, you know, in the code and try to understand what it does. And you can really explore everything in real time. Um, so I hope yeah that you enjoy that.